Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Rob with INN Gaming and today we're going to be uh, playing my Rush Warrior deck. Uh, it actually has a couple of the new Nax cards in it and it's proven to be very effective. So I would like to share this with you guys and hopefully you enjoy. So starting up our first game here, um, I wonder who we're going to be playing. The lag is real right now. I don't understand why this spinny thing is taking. Okay, there it goes. All right, yeah. Because I am uh, downloading some stuff from cloud, uh, this game might be a little bit laggy, but it'll definitely clear up. Shouldn't be like that forever. Forever. Um, as of now, I'm ranked 15. The season just started a little bit ago, so it's, I always say that, but it actually is true. Um, so this hand's looking all right. I believe I'm gonna get rid of the Execute and the Whirlwind because it's just too early for that nonsense. We're going with the Armor Smith and the Whirlwind. Hopefully we can get, there it is, the Berserker. So this hand's looking mighty fine, mighty fine hand, mighty fine. So I'm gonna end my turn because I got nothing to do. All right, so, yeah, I'm going second, so I still have nothing to do, so I'm gonna call it here. Next turn, I'm probably going to be armor smithing. The turn after that, Berserker, and then from there, I'll probably be able to coin, whirlwind, slam, depending on what he does. So from here, oh, another Berserker. This is just fantastic. So I might just coin a Berserker, but I'm just gonna armor smith. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna see if he has any uh, maybe lightning bolts that he can use on the armor smith instead of my berserker because the berserker only does have four health which is unfortunate so there's the elemental so he's got a spell power totem and elemental on the field which means he probably has some overloads in his hand um, this is really annoying because I can't <sighs> to play the berserker and he's gonna have he's gonna definitely waste some cards and at least kill some of his characters or I can slam the spell power totem which will pointless and if I slam the unbound it's gonna live because I have no way of killing it um, so I'm just gonna play the berserker and I'll have nothing to do past here and I'll probably attack the spell power um, totem so my berserker can get a uh, increased attack so um, yeah hitting the totem now he's a three attack and then my turn. so he's probably gonna play some he's, he's definitely gonna play some overload because he obviously, if he doesn't have one in his hand, that would suck because he's got the unbound and a spell power plus totem on the field, which is a lucky ass. There it is, the lightning storm. So hopefully it'll do three damage to my guys instead of four, because if it does four, they both die. Do three. Oh, baby, a triple. Three to him. Three to him, too. All righty, good stuff. So they both live, which means his unbound elemental can attack me directly and leave him alive, or he's going to have to commit suicide. Uh-oh, suicide's in his future. Oh, no, maybe not suicide. Oh, which one are you attacking, son? You can't make all these decisions. You gotta make one decision and stick with it. You have to commit. There you go, you commit it. So, he used two cards to get rid of my one. I call that a win. And the next turn, that spell power totem's going down. Awesome, there's the Naxxramas cards that we were just talking about, that five for four, seven. Great card. Because it's either he's gonna have to waste CC on it, and if he doesn't waste CC on it, it's a pain in the ass, and it summons an 11-11 if the other one dies too. So, it definitely just puts him on his heels, makes him think big things are happening when actually the big things don't really come from the Naxxramas cards, they come with the actual warrior cards. The Elite and the Berserker are just fantastic. So he's gonna do a play of Totem, because that's literally all he can play. From here I can Berserker, and I can Slam, or I can Whirlwind, and but my Armorsmith would die, so I think I'm just gonna go for the pure aggro here. Throw down the Elite. No? I'm gonna probably shouldn't have done that. I said throw down the Elite and then I threw down the Berserker. I'm retarded. Anyway, gonna swing for four, gonna swing for one. I guess I guess the Berserker wasn't a bad move either because, I don't know, I'm trying to go back on what I was saying. Hopefully he doesn't have more field clear. Um, I, I'm feeling like he's gonna hex or maybe even silence the four seven. So it's gonna be his decision, what do you want to do? Get rid of the Berserker or he's gonna get rid of the four seven. He's got six mana to do it. I definitely have a good hand though. I've got a shield block and a shield slam. Um, so if he plays anything big, all right. So maybe a lightning bolt because he has three health. Oh, okay, fire elemental works too. So every time one of my guys takes damage, that armor smith is just giving me armor. So from here, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna slam him and then I can um, uh, shield slam or I can just shield slam. No, I'll, I'll save that card. I'm gonna use uh, my elite, and I'm gonna swing for nine. 
and he's getting pretty low here. He's going down to uh, 16 health while I'm at 37, including my armor. Uh, card advantage is uh, 7 to his 7, so card advantage is the same, but next turn I'll be 1 ahead plus 7 health ahead, along with 14 more health ahead. So. The game's looking good. This game's looking good, guys. As long as he doesn't uh, clear my field or silence them or does some crazy thing. Oh, there's three more damage to my elite. The elite is down. So I'm glad I've uh, saved my slam because when I can slam him and then I can attack with my 4-7 and he'll live. But maybe we'll draw something even better. Ah, the health screen is here. So I think I'm going to slam. I'll be able to draw a card. And then if nothing comes, uh, I can shield block and draw a card too. So I'm going to shield block, draw a card. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, we got a weapon. Uh, that's pretty good because now I can shield, uh, I can slam him, make him have three health, swing with a weapon, and now I can um, save these guys' health, and I can just keep withering away his life. So he's, he's definitely going to have to do big things here, or big things are be done to him. So we got Hellscream in our hand and Ragnaros, our two pretty much main legendaries in the deck, the two other ones you get from Naxxramas, so even if you don't, you don't have to buy them, so anybody can get them as long as you're do Naxxramas on normal, which is very easy. It's not that bad. If, you, if you're having trouble on Naxxramas, I actually do have a lot of Naxxramas guides. We've got all the heroic bosses down and all of the normal bosses down, and I tried to build the decks relatively cheap for you guys, so you don't have to have the best deck to win. So if you guys are having trouble with Naxxramas, feel free to check that out. Um, I do those for you guys. So that 7-8 is going to have to die. I can, I can whirlwind and then execute, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And holy mother of God, I'm not sure what this lag spike just came from. We were doing all right until now, but we can make it through, guys. This is, this is the, what is that movie called? The, the Giant Storm? The ship doesn't make it, but I'm pretty sure that the ship's going to make it. So I'm going to swing for four, and I'm going to attack for three. Yes. Because now he's down to 3 health, and so he's going to have to kill that 4-6. If he doesn't, I can attack with health screen next turn. I was just scared maybe he's going to Acidic Swamp Boots, get rid of my weapon. Then I'm going to have to do 6 damage in one turn. Either way, health screen can go up to 10. Oh, got another taunt. Okay, well that's not really a big deal either, because I can throw down health screen, Whirlwind, health screen has 10 health, kill the 7-8, and then attack with the 4. So, I believe that's what we're going to do here. So, health screen, Whirlwind, like I said... He's going to be big and macho man, 10 8, attack. He's going to live with one health and swing for four for the game over. Whoop, whoop. All right, so that was our first win in ranked with this uh, warrior deck. I'm going to go through three uh, games back to back to back. As you can see, I'm already on a win streak because of this deck. It's been doing fairly well. I worked my way down from 21, not saying that's our 20. Um, not that that's hard, but um, definitely yeah, I, I think I've lost one game because of the hand I drew was just absolutely atrocious. Atrocious. There we go. So, going into our second rank game here. Hopefully, we can uh, keep this a win streak a running. Dun, 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 dun. Why the hell am I playing a rogue deck? I was just playing a warrior. I didn't change decks. Okay, so I'm just going to speed this all ahead so you don't have to watch me play a rogue deck because that's not what this guide is about. So, right here. Hopping into this game, going to put back the rag and going to get a gore howl. Alright, so we got a Taskmaster is really good with the Berserker because um, you can hit him for one damage, he gets two and then he buffs himself plus one because he got hit. So it's actually a plus three for just sacrificing one health. So, very nice card. Good combination. So we got a two, three, four, seven. I have a feeling gore howl is going to come in later. It's just going to be epic win. So he's going to coin and maybe totem. Ooh, an egg. All right, so this might be a rush shaman. I'm not really sure. Um, there's no point for me to throw in a weapon because he's just going to maybe swamp ooze. If I throw that on Taskmaster, obviously I'm not going to buff his egg. So I think I'm just going to pass it for two armor and end my turn. Because it doesn't really doesn't really, really look like I can do much else than that. Um, I could swing for three with my weapon, but normally I like to save the weapons for creatures. Um, it gives you card advantage, and it definitely clears the field. So whenever, remember, if you've got a warrior deck, save your weapons to for the creatures. Don't really, don't don't attack other, uh, don't attack directly unless you know it's going to be a, a win next turn. And you're planning out how much health he has. So on turn three, like I stated, here comes the berserker. Uh, next turn, I can play the elite, or I can taskmaster and war axe. So depending on what he plays, um, it's going to be one of those two options: the elite if he doesn't really do much, and the taskmaster if he decides to do big things. So big things are happening. That's why I hate the egg right there, because he's going to sacrifice um, 
two cards, and then it's gonna kill my one, and then it's gonna summon a four four, which is gonna a six four actually. So it's pretty annoying. Um, I'm gonna Fury War Axe. Um, I'm gonna kill off that um, uh, six four. I'm I am gonna take six to the face. Or four to the face. Yeah, yeah, six to the face. I had two armor. And I'm just gonna get rid of him. Next turn I'll be able to use that weapon to kill the flame tongue. I just wanted to get rid of uh, that uh, six four before maybe he puts a reincarnate on it or he does some annoying stuff because definitely a uh, six four on turn four uh, along with the totem is uh, I need to get rid of that. And health this early on the game, not that big of a deal. So we got two more turns until the gore howl comes out and plays. Uh, he just keeps summoning creatures. I'm not really, sh still not sure what kind of deck he's running. It's like a hybrid in between rush and not rush. Um, I've got five mana, so I'm gonna throw down that four seven, and I'm gonna use my weapon to kill off that uh, totem, and then I'm just gonna swing for two directly because these two one ones on the field are pretty much pointless. I'm not gonna get rid of those. Mm, shaman, shaman, shaman. What are you gonna do? So card advantage. It's looking like he's definitely beating me in card advantage by uh, a, a decent amount. But um, he's definitely putting pre the pressure is on the field because of that 4-7 and that 2-2. Two, two. So let's see what we can draw here. Another Whirlwind. I think I'm going to sh well, we got to get rid of that 7-7 seven, seven, and we have no way of doing it. Um, so I'm going to Shield Block. Let's see if we can get a card from Shield Block. Execute. Perfect. So now we can Whirlwind, execute the 7-7, seven, seven, swing for 4 directly. The heck all right there we go and like i said swing for that four directly and end my turn so it's my four cards to his five six cards actually so i'm two card advantage behind next turn i'll draw one so it'll only be one card advantage behind so it's not that bad um uh i it's just one of those things this this deck really doesn't have much card advantage until you get the acolyte not the acolyte that's the acolyte it's a one three whenever it takes damage draw a card and that card combined with the armor smith and whirlwind and Taskmaster, you just you end up drawing at least two to three cards almost every single time you have them out. So definitely, um, as you can see, the deck list is in the corner. Um, there's a lot of combinations that you can do with this deck to get good card advantage if you get the right cards. So holy shit, another huge lad spike. Hopefully we can survive through, guys. Um, <laughs> so our options, we could Gore Howl and attack one of these creatures, but it's I'm not going to attack a 1-1 with a 7, and I'm not going to kill a Harvest Golem that's going to turn into a 2-1, so it still has the same attack. So either way, if I attack, there, he's going to have the same damage output next turn. Um, if I play this creature, obviously he's going to sacrifice his creatures to kill it, um, but that's fine, because in response to him killing his creatures, he's going to have to play more, and Gore Howls will take out the rest. So I'm going to swing for 4, swing for 4, continuing to put pressure on him. I'm sorry about this... Uh, lag issue here it should stop in just a second um but yeah it should clear up so back to his turn he's definitely he's got six cards in hand two on field i only have three cards in hand two on field so he's good card advantage ahead of me now but he does not have the life um because i've been keeping the ball rolling and in response to keeping that ball rolling i am losing cards I'm just hoping he kills that 4-6. He doesn't hex it, he doesn't silence it, it can just die, and then I can summon that 7-4, and then it can summon that 11-11. I, mean, I, I just want to summon that 11, 11 Oh, it looks like he's killing it! Oh, oh, baby, a triple! Yes, kill it. I don't know why he wouldn't just kill the 4-3. Um, that would have been much easier to kill, but um, I'm not going to question his motives here. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. So I'm going to... I can Gore Howler and kill that, or I can Whirlwind, and then uh, Shield Slam, save Gore Howl for another turn. So that's what I think I'm going to do. And passive, get two more armor, swing for four, and I've got nine. I can Mortal Strike for four directly, so I can do seven, four, so I can do 11 damage in one turn. So as long as he just doesn't kill my, uh, my Elite this turn, it should be GG within the next one to two turns. He does have huge card advantage above me. Oh my god, look at the card advantage. <laughs> Uh, he is a massive, oh my goodness gracious, he's just killing me in card advantage. Oh jeez, this game has to end soon. I've got four cards to his, what looks like, eight. There's that 7-4, so I'm going to throw down that 7-4. I could Gore Howl, swing for seven, and then four, which would be 11. So that's not enough to kill him. And then I could Mortal Strike next turn. Oh shit, I probably should have done that. 
Anyway, he's down to eight. Next turn, I can um, Gore Howl, swing for uh, seven, and then Mortal Strike the next turn. So either way, it looks like it's gonna be GG. I just didn't, um, I think I could have done it a turn earlier, but now it's gonna cost me a turn later. So hopefully he doesn't do anything too crazy now. <laughs> that makes me stop from winning, because the game was mine. That's kind of dumb. Could have done 11, and then the next turn just more strike for God, I'm retarded. That 7-4 that in my hand just got me so excited, because I want to summon that 11-11. I want him. Oh, so he's building up his field now. So it does not look like I'm going to be able to attack directly with the Gore Howl. That Mortal Strike is definitely, I'm going to have to kill that Ogre. I have a feeling. All right, so we got a Shield, shield Slam as well. So, oh, Bessie. How are we going to do this? Definitely Mortal Strike. I, I, I wish I would have used it on him directly, but and he would have died this turn, but I'm, I, I'm just going to use it like this. Get my two armor. I'm going to swing on the 2-4. It's going to bring this guy down to two health, and hopefully he'll uh, attack this guy next turn with the Sun Fury Protector, and um, I can summon my 11-11. So kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. You want to kill it? 7-2. You know you don't want to. No, no. Oh my god, you, you queer. Why would you? That now I can never summon that 11-11. That the whole point of me playing those cards and you killing them was for me to summon my 11-11. For this you'll pay. For this you'll have to pay. Next you're losing because of you're losing this turn because of that. When I say this turn, I actually mean next turn. Because this turn I'm going to be taking out your taunts. I'm going to sack two, draw one, and end my turn. So you have to kill my uh, my rider, and if you do not, I am going to gore howl you next turn to death. So this game could have ended two turns ago, but I made a mistake. I swear to God, if he makes a comeback, I'm running on three cards here, and he has like a hand twelve. How is he? Oh God! Oh, knight's dead. Knight down. Knight down. And he's got a spell power totem now. He's gonna swing for four. Oh God! And a freaking egg. Jesus. All right, we got the slam. Good stuff. So it looks like I'm gonna gore howl, swing for seven. He's gonna be left with one health. <laughs> I can't slam directly. All right, not slam directly, but I can't slam him directly. I have to slam creatures, so I'm gonna slam draw one. There's Ragnaros that can't, Ragnaros, you can't choose who you target. So um, yeah, this is kind of unfortunate. I mean, I could shield slam, eh. yeah, my armor's gonna be gone next turn anyway, so I might as well kill those so they can't attack for four. He only has a two beater on the field. So as long, the longer I can live and draw something that can deal one damage, the better. So as long as he doesn't play taunts and I can get some sort of charge, I think it's gonna be a good game here. Or even a weapon, a weapon would be nice. Hey look, a weapon. So, I'm going to equip this 3-2 weapon, and I'm going to use it to smack you in the face for 3 damage. And that's going to be game. So I added my 2 cards to his uh, 8. So, that shows card advantages and everything. With a rush, not rush, but like a control, field control warrior deck. Um, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, could have won a lot earlier, but that's my fault. So, mistakes can be still, are, are being still made. Um, going to head into the third ranked game now uh we're doing i think pretty well so far even though i made that stupid mistake and took three more turns to get rid of somebody i should have been able to get rid of three turns prior but whatever so playing a ranked 13 priest oh gee willikers so i'm gonna get rid of hell scream obviously because he is too high um get out of here uh, I got the Taskmaster and an Alkalite of Pain and another Pain. All right, so this is looking like a pretty good opening beginning hand. Um, we can make that Alkalite into a 3-2. And that Taskmaster just goes well because of that one damage. So I'm going to draw a card and make it a 3-2. So good stuff this early in the game. I'm going to have to wait till the third turn to do anything, though. But oh, another Taskmaster. Oh, my God, this hand. Whew, sorry about the yawn. So this hand is looking pretty weird. All right. Uh, so I can't, I'm not just going to play Taskmaster, so I'm just going to gain two armor and end my turn. Um, hopefully he still has nothing more to play. Um, maybe he's going to coin and play a three drop. Not really sure. Let's see. Is he just going to passive and heal yourself to 30? 
What you gonna do, priest? End your turn. Oh, he did. So it is time for me to shine. Here comes the 1-3. The following turn will be a Taskmaster. And I'll be able to use the weapon if need be, or gain two armor, or I can summon an elite. So, the options are real. What are you going to do, priest? All right, you're going to heal yourself even though you have full health. You're a smart one. So with that, there's a lot of options I can do here. I can Taskmaster and give him one. Uh, mm, I want to kill that 3-3. Three, three. What's the best way? So I can I can weapon, kill the 3-3, three, three, Taskmaster, um, make him a 3-2, uh, and then draw one. So that's what I'm going to do. So this way I got card advantage. Um, this guy gets buffed, and I actually can do some damage. Sweet. So, what you gonna do? I got two creatures on the field, and if you play anything, I can kill it. So it looks like he's gonna Holy Nova because he just used his coin to get five mana. Yep, there's a Holy Nova. So, I'm gonna be able to draw another card, but he did kill my two creatures. But the funny thing is, I got the same combo coming out next turn. So I can play the 4-7, or I can play two more, and I think I'm gonna play these two just to gain more card advantage. Ping him for one again, and draw a card. Awesome, and then my turn. So that had to be pretty annoying. He just has to face the same dy uh, dynamic, do not, wow, dynamic duo twice. The Taskmaster Acolyte combo. So next turn, I will be able to Berserker and then Whirlwind if he plays anything and then slam to finish it off. Um, or I can Elite um, and uh, Slam. Or I can uh, use, uh, use that 4-7. There's tons of shit I can do with this hand. I'm very happy with it. And the shield slam is in it too, so I can definitely do some big damage if he plays anything mighty big. Dun, dun, dun. What you gonna do? Another Holy Nova. Okay. All right. Didn't see that coming. Double Holy Novas over here. Still at full health on his side. So, because this is a somewhat rush deck, I'm going to play the four, swing for four, um, and then my turn, I'm going to keep the weapon on there. Like I said, for creatures, I do not attack with weapons directly. It already killed one creature, so it's already done. It's one for one. So as long as he doesn't play an Acidic Swamp Ooze, that weapon will, and thus go two for two, or two for one, which it will here because he, he's either going to heal it or, all right, so he played two of those. They're both going to have three health. And never mind, they're both going to have seven health. Okay, I see you. Coming in strong over here. So... Um, the option is real. I believe I'm going to play Berserker, and then I'm going to throw out a Whirlwind. Then I can execute one of them and Shield Slam the other one. Yes. So, I'm going to do this. He's going to get Retarded Attack. I'm going to destroy one of these bad boys. Um, I can actually, uh, I guess... There's no way for me to kill it without using two cards. So I'm just going to slam. It's going to go down to four health. And then I'll be able to kill it with my elite. Because I don't want it attacking my berserker. Then there's no way for me to do that extra damage. So I'm going to kill it with my elite. Hopefully he doesn't kill my berserker next turn because it does have nine attack. And um, it's pretty beefy. I got slag and... You get in my hand. Hopefully, I said those names right. So maybe we can get that 11-11 out. Oh my god, that would be so fantastic! Oh god, an 11-11 is just so great, and I just want to play him. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Hopefully, he doesn't silence my guy. It's just annoying. He has to kill him because one of them is a seven to four, which means he can shadow word death, and then the other one he's gonna have to. Holy fire or something because they don't have anything to kill four drops. I feel so bad for Breeze. So he's going to heal him up for one to draw the card with the cleric and then he's going to shadow ward death with my 9-4. That sucks. So like I said, I'm going to be able to attack with that. I wish I would have played the armor smith first because then I would have gained one armor with that uh, because my character did take damage. Or is it friendly minion? I don't know. Either way, it's only one armor. So there's my 4-7 because I know we can't Shadow Ward Death it and I want it to at least attack once or twice. Um, so he's going to have to do some sort of damage to it. Oh god, he's going to take control of my 1-4. Oh 
Okay, so Gore Howl is gonna be attacking that four or five most definitely. Yes. So Gore Howl go, attack that four or five. Oh, actually no, I'm gonna attack the armor smith first so he doesn't get an armor for me attacking that uh, four or five. So now he only gets one armor instead of two. I'm gonna pass and get myself two more armor and end my turn. So it's his five cards to my six cards, one next turn, so I am up. Bum, 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 bum. Two card advantage. So Ragnaros. All right, so hopefully, um, I hopefully it attacks me directly because next turn then I'll be able to attack it with the four six. He'll have four health left. I can um, passive gain two um, and then shield block or I can elite and get rid of it. Depends what I want to do. So passive swing with Gorhal. Oh, that, that was freaking retarded. Now the shield slam doesn't do anything. God, that was retarded. I should have shield slammed and then attacked with it. I'm, I'm stupid. Oh my God, I'm stupid. So either way, I'm gonna have to kill that Ragnaros. Uh, that would, normally wouldn't have cost me to kill the four or six, but it, because I'm retarded and I do things backwards because I'm thinking too fast, um, that's what happens. So don't make my mistake. Don't shield slam last. When you attack with a weapon, remember it gets rid of armor. I'm retarded. So he's gonna give this guy two health. He's gonna heal himself up for four, but it's only two because that's all he has. Um, this guy definitely has to die, and he will. Um, after this, he'll have two health. So, oh man, it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to put all my balls in a crate right now. It's it's gonna be a rough one. Yep, all my balls are going in a basket here. So I'm gonna swing this guy for seven. Um, it's gonna kill him off. It's gonna summon that 11-11. Finally, here he is. Woo, 11-11. And then I'm gonna have to, I bet Velen has to die. Um, so I'm gonna hit him with my weapon and I'm gonna be brought down to five health. So right now, if he has a holy fire, I lose. Is he, if he has any sort of um, direct damage, charge, anything like that, I lose. So, but if not, next turn he loses because I have the uh, Hell Scream in my hand along with the weapon and a Ragnaros and 11-11 on the field. So, that's a lot of damage he's gonna take next turn if he cannot kill these creatures and if he cannot kill me directly. If he has nothing to play, this is gonna be GG because that 11-11 is freaking brutal. That is, that is, that's almost half his health in one hit. Along with a weapon that still has five attack on it. So it looks like he doesn't have any taunts or anything to get rid of my field. So he's probably gonna heal himself up. So he has 25 health. But depending on what I draw next turn, it could be GG. Okay. So, no, no, not gonna slam him. I can slam the health scream, give him 10 health. Then that has 11, so that's 21. And then with the weapon, it's 25. So that's, is that really just 25 health I can do in one turn? Holy shit, it is. Okay, so that's the plan. I'm gonna slam my own hell scream, making him a 10-7. And here comes the beating. 10, 11, swing for four for game. So 25 health in one turn, holy shit. Well, that was interesting and fun at the same time. Now I'm ranked 13, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed these videos. If uh, you have, remember to throw a like. If you haven't, throw a dislike. But if you're gonna throw that dislike, explain why you didn't like it. It really helps me out when making uh, videos in the future for you guys. Also, if you have any recommendations for videos, feel free to throw that in the comment section below as well. I read all of the comments. I respond to all you guys. So uh, just remember that when uh, watching these videos and uh, communicating with me via those messages. So. I just want to say thank you for stopping by the end. I'm Rob.